Okay, guys. So quickly moving to the next uh, test. All right. So I came across this test when I was reading about gonorrhea. All right. I saw that it's a test that could be done for gonorrhea. So this is what is known as nucleic acid amplification test. Nucleic acid amplification test. All right. So this is how it looks like. Okay. So for the nucleic acid amplification test, they are usually abbreviated as what well, NATs. All right. They are usually abbreviated as NATs. So they are highly sensitive molecular tests, which they are used to dictate what genetic material. Okay. That's like you want to now know which virus or which bacteria is actually causing a particular infection. So they work by what amplifying small amount of nucleic acid. So you just have a little stuff to work with but it can amplify it can make it big so that it can just rightly make the right diagnosis so they are commonly used for diagnosing what uh, infectious diseases like others and covid 19 tuberculosis sexually transmitted infections all right so some well-known methods are that's what tell you that what the nucleic acid amplification test is also subdivided do you understand? So all the subdivision will also look at it again. So we have polymerase chain reaction. It's widely used technique that amplifies DNA through thermal cycling. We have the what? Uh, transcription uh, mediated amplification. It's used for RNA viruses. We have the loop mediated what? Isothermal amplification. That's a lamp. It's a rapid method that works at a constant temperature. So because these nucleic acid amplification tests dictate genetic materials rather than antigens or antibodies, okay, they can provide earlier and more accurate diagnosis. So they have largely replaced all those culture and sensitivity for like some crazy bacterial infections, all right? So this is just what, so this is a nice picture where you can pause and observe, okay? But this is basically for the PCR because PCR, even amongst the methods, is like the most popular. Okay, so see you guys.